Hey guys, Jared Beckwith here, and I've always wanted to have a machine to record my own brain activity because I work at a hospital doing a test called an EEG where I record patients' brain activity, and I always wanted my own. So I looked into companies like Natus and Neon Coden who sell these machines to these hospitals, and they were telling me it's gonna be well over $10,000, and that's more than my car, guys, and that would uh, pretty much bankrupt me and make me broke. So I, that wasn't gonna work out for me. So I was looking into alternative options, like making my own for, I was thinking how cheap can I make my own EEG machine, even if it's like a miniature one and it's not super pretty, as long as it can record my brain activity, I'm cool with it, right? So I've been looking into something that can convert an analog signal to a digital signal. That's what an EEG machine does. The analog signal is the electrical activity in the brain and the EEG machine just converts it with the amplifier to a digital signal that can be displayed on a computer screen. And it just looks like squiggly lines. So I've been looking at some of these analog to digital converters and these can be used for any purpose really. EKG, EEG, EMG, and they just convert it into a digital signal and do I really know what's going on on these uh, printed circuit boards? No, not really. Uh, I think most people don't. They just look like green things that uh, computer people use. And so I don't understand it completely, but my dad, who is an electrical engineer, he understands them a lot. He went to school for it. So he's helping me make my own EEG machine and our own EEG software, which is gonna save us well over $10,000 in creating my own little EEG experiment machine where I can record my own PDR. It's called the posterior dominant rhythm. Um, I'm only gonna be having four channels of EEG, so four electrodes plus reference and ground, so six electrodes in total, but we're essentially recording from four electrodes and we're gonna be able to see when I close my eyes. It's called the reactivity of the posterior dominant rhythm. When I close my eyes and I'm relaxed, I'm gonna see a nice, eight to 12 waves per second, and it's gonna be beautiful and symmetric on both sides. That's why we're recording from P3 and O1, the left side, and P4 and O2, which are on the right side. Odd numbers on the left, even numbers on the right. That's an important thing to remember if you're still new to EEG. Now with these just four electrodes, we'll be able to see if my posterior dominant rhythm is reactive. That meaning, does it come when I close my eyes and relax, and does it attenuate or go away when I open my eyes? And is it symmetric? Are they looking the same exact on both sides? And is it normal voltage? We will we will see all those things. Am I gonna be an eight, eight hertz posterior dominant rhythm guy? Am I gonna be a nine hertz, 10, 11, 12? That's the alpha rhythm numbers. Those are the normal ranges. We will have to see how many waves per second my posterior dominant rhythm is, guys. And the best way to do, to do that is for me to essentially build my own EEG machine with these printed circuit boards. And my dad and my brother can write the software to take the data from these analog to digital converters and display it beautifully on the screen for us to look at, guys. Here's some simulated data. So we were able to actually get data from these chips and we're able to display it on the computer screen. Now this doesn't look like an EEG signal, but it's just showing testing that we can display all different types of frequencies that you may find in an EEG, but they're more mixed and more random in an actual EEG, as you guys will see in future video. I'm on the journey to doing my own EEG, guys. This is what this video is all about, and I hope you guys follow me on this journey. If you guys are in the field of EEG, I'm sure you guys will find this interesting. And if you've never heard of EEG or never seen brainwaves before, well, subscribe for more. You guys can see my brainwaves and come along with me on this journey. So make sure you hit the like button if you wanna see my own brainwaves, my own EEG. We will see what they look like, guys. Comment down below, are you guys excited? What do you guys wanna see? And I will see you all on the next video.